Acute meniscal tears can occur in patients of any age group, but they are most common in younger patients. They can occur with a significant sporting injury or even quite innocuously, like twisting your knee when getting out of a chair. Symptoms of an acute meniscal tear include sudden pain, swelling, and also a feeling of catching within the joint. If the meniscal tear is severe, it can also displace. And this is sometimes called a bucket handle tear on an MRI report. This can lock your knee, stopping it from bending and straightening fully. If you have symptoms of an acute meniscal tear and a previously normal knee, then you should make an appointment with your GP or sports doctor promptly. Your doctor may start with an x-ray and sometimes even a period of observation if they don't suspect a meniscal tear. If they are suspicious of a meniscal tear or you don't improve with time, it's likely they'll consider ordering an MRI scan. A meniscal tear and other ligament injuries will not show on an x-ray or ultrasound. All growing athletes with an acute knee injury associated with pain, swelling or symptoms of clicking and catching should have an MRI scan as soon as possible. In growing athletes, it is also important to have an x-ray prior to the MRI scan to exclude a fracture or growth plate injury. A meniscus has a very poor blood supply and therefore has a very limited healing potential after being torn. The very high majority of meniscal tears will never heal unless they are surgically repaired. Meniscal tears associated with ACL injury are even less likely to heal without surgery, and I discuss this in more detail during the ACL education video on my website. Younger patients with a diagnosed acute meniscal tear should seek an opinion from an orthopedic surgeon as soon as possible. The sooner a meniscal tear is repaired, the more likely it is the meniscus will heal. If a meniscal tear is left more than six to 12 weeks, it is much less likely it will heal, even if repaired. As we previously discussed, if a meniscus does not heal, it can have disastrous consequences for a young patient's knee. There's probably no more important operation that I do than repairing a young patient's torn meniscus. If we can get that meniscus to heal, it is a huge win for their knee health in the future. Even with surgical repair, not all meniscal tears will heal, but the chances of healing are greatly improved. If a meniscus heals after surgery, then you can expect an excellent result with no increased risk of arthritis. An acute meniscal tear is repaired with a keyhole surgery to your knee joint called an arthroscopy. We make two small incisions about five millimeters in size at the front of your knee joint. We then place a camera and some tools inside the knee and repair the meniscus back together with sutures. This stabilizes the meniscus and helps it to heal. The same way that putting a broken bone into a cast keeps the bone stable so healing can occur. This is usually a day surgery procedure and you're able to walk on your knee immediately. Some patients may need to wear a brace for six weeks after surgery. If a meniscal tear does not heal, then you may require the torn component removed from your knee joint with an arthroscopy. Otherwise, it will continue to cause pain and mechanical symptoms of clicking and catching inside the joint. Some patients are confused by this and they worry that removing this meniscal tissue will increase their risk of arthritis. However, the torn area of meniscus is no longer working properly. It's like the ripped trampoline mat that we spoke about. It can't absorb shock anymore. We only remove the torn fragments that are irritating the knee joint and are essentially useless anyway. Your surgeon should leave as much healthy meniscal tissue inside your knee as possible to continue working as a shock absorber. Removing just the torn component of a meniscus is called a partial meniscectomy. It's really important to understand that a patient's risk of arthritis is increased from the meniscal tear itself, not from the removal of the torn meniscal fragments. Many patients have asked me why we don't just replace the torn meniscus with a man-made implant. There have been several attempts to replace the function of a meniscus with an implant, but unfortunately, nothing has even come close to doing the same job. The meniscus is a very humble but ingenious component within your knee joint. Because the results of meniscal repair are so time sensitive, I keep specific appointments available every week to see these patients rapidly. So I can generally see you and arrange surgery within a few days if required. 
If you haven't already had an x-ray or an MRI scan, then I can also arrange for that to occur prior to your appointment.